Alright people, so a while back I modified a nerf gun to shoot really hard and it was awesome. I love that gun. And ever since then I've been watching all these videos on other blasters that people have created. And some of them are just really sick. Back like two years ago I got really into nerf modding but I didn't want to spend any money on it because I didn't think I'd still be into it later in life. So I never really bought any parts for it. Now that I'm a YouTuber however, I can spend money on dumb things. I mean, my passions. Back then there was always one gun that I had my eye on, the Lynx. I loved it because it's bullpup, and as you might know, I have a bullpup obsession. But since I made this blaster, which happens to be bullpup, I figured I might as well expand my collection with other different types of blasters, you know. So I decided I would get my next favorite gun, the Zinc 2.0. I've always thought the Zinc was cool because it actually looks and functions like a real pistol, and ever since I saw it, I wanted one. Since I was at it, I decided I'd get a Talonclaw as well. The Talonclaw is regarded as one of the best primary dart blasters on the market, and I just wanted to try it for myself. So I went ahead to buy some guns, and then remembered, they offer hardware-only kits. You know, springs, screws, all that stuff. So you can 3D print the rest of the blaster from home for maximum customization. I figured this was the best option for me because it's considerably cheaper, and I need to 3D print something. I'll get to that. I ordered one Talonclaw hardware kit and five Zinc 2.0 hardware kits, which came out to be only $315. I said I needed to 3D print something because I recently received something in the mail, and I've been really wanting to try it. This is a Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer, and I've been dying to try it out since everything I've ever heard about Bamboo Lab on the internet has been good. The Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer is designed to be extremely user-friendly and efficient so anyone can use it to its limits. Now, I won't lie, when I was first putting it together, I was like, this is a cool printer, but what sets it apart from the others? Well, let me show you. First, it automatically cleans the nozzle before every single print, so you don't have to. And I don't know, I just think that's really cool. And then, the speed. Look at how fast this thing is. I mean, I was genuinely shocked when I first saw it, but the speed doesn't affect the quality at all. The prints still come out great. Just look at the quality. This print came out really, really nice. Now, one of my favorite parts about this printer is that you can print on the go with the app Bamboo Handy. I've been in this situation many times where I meant to start a print before I went somewhere, but I forgot and ended up wasting all that time. Well, not anymore. With just one simple click, you can print fully customized models from wherever you are. But mid modifications, what if something were to happen to my print while I'm away from the house? Well, with the built-in camera, you can watch your print like the creepy stalker you are. And I didn't even get to the good part yet. Yeah, I know, it gets better. With the AMS, Automatic Material System, this printer can print in multiple colors. Yeah, that's right, no more painting your models like a little loser, you can have them printed in whatever colors you want. Now my personal favorite color that Bamboo Labs offers is this purple right here. Now to install it, you simply slide it on, you push it through the hole on the bottom, and then it automatically loads it into the machine. If you were thinking about getting a 3D printer for the first time, or maybe just upgrading from an old one, I would highly recommend getting the Bamboo Labs A1. I'll have the link for it in the description. Thank you, Bamboo Labs, for sponsoring this video. I, I love you guys. So, I started printing out some of the zinc frames while I was waiting for the hardware kits to be shipped. Since I bought so many zinc kits, I was excited to try out as many color combinations that I could, but I decided to print the first pistol in purple and gray, because, you know, it's the best color combination. Oh yeah. Oh, that came out nice. The quality on this is just crazy. And by the time I had printed the first pistol, the hardware kits had arrived. This is probably the Talon Clock kit. This is probably, this is definitely the Talon Clock kit. And these are the zinc kits. Should have five of these. And we got all the gun pieces over here.
This is awesome. Oh my gosh. And that mag release too. All right, I set up the chronograph and now we're gonna test this thing and see what it can actually do. Seven. 158, oh yeah. 167. 130. 149. 141. 151. I really, really like this gun. After making the zinc pistol, I was really excited to assemble my Talon Claw. This whole thing slides on here. This goes like that. This is so hard to prime, holy. And that kickstarted my problems with the Talon Claw. I don't think I did this right. No matter how hard I tried, the blaster's priming mechanism just wasn't locking the spring back. And after a bit of inspection, I figured out why. The plunger tube locks right there. There's like, I don't know, not that much space between, there's like half inch of space. There's no way this spring can compress to a half an inch. I think it's supposed to go inside the hole in the plunger tube, but it doesn't fit. <sighs> so since the spring that came with the talon claw doesn't fit, I'm gonna take the spring out of this gun because it's actually a talon claw spring. And I'm gonna put it into my new talon claw and see how it functions. So I'm chronographing the talon claw and I'm gonna see how fast it shoots. 218, 210, 220, 208, 215, 208, 225. This thing was averaging at around 220, which is reasonable because that's what the spring is rated for. Um, and I know it has the power to get up to 300 FPS, but I really don't think it's a good idea to. I think this is just enough power for it as it is because no one's gonna wanna play with a blaster that shoots like insanely hard. But I really like this thing, it's awesome. And again, a thank you to Bamboo Labs because none of this would have been possible without them. I mean, the print quality was just so good that all these pieces went together really easily. There wasn't a lot of like having to sand pieces down to get them to fit. Everything came out like pretty much exactly the way it was supposed to. I ended up saving almost $500 3D printing these blasters from home. So if you ever wanted to try doing this yourself, I would 100% tell you to go for it. And remember to click the link in the description so you can get your very own Bamboo Lab A1 3D printer. Hold up, I'm not done yet. I spent a few more days printing out the other blasters and then assembled them. I decided on black, black and orange, black and green, and black and red. 
Looking back now, I probably wouldn't have used so much black, but I think it turned out fine. Oh yeah, snipe. Snipe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>